guys, it is me Stace. I am back again today with another Cricut Explore video. We are also doing our Making a Monday project. And today we are making this really cute giraffe box. There's the lid there. Then we have the inside. It is a three by three size box. I just go to the computer and we will get started. Alrighty, at the computer you want to go to design.cricut.com. You will see this screen. Enter in your email and your password. Click on sign in. When you see your name at the very top, that verifies that you are logged in. On this page, we're going to scroll down until we come to Cricut Access, and then click on View All. In the search box in the upper right-hand corner, we're going to type in the word box, click on Enter. The box we are making is the giraffe box. Click on that. It'll bring up the preview window. Now, normally at the bottom, there's an option to customize the project. This one we can't do, so we're going to go ahead and click on Make It. It'll take us to the matte preview screen, and you will see up here it calls for five mats total. Mat 1 is for the bottom of the box. Mat 2 is for the piece for the inside lid. Mat 3 is for one giraffe. Mat 4 is for the other giraffe. And we have Mat 5, which is for the lid. I'm going to customize my mats a little bit. So I'm going to click on Mat 4. I'm going to click on this piece here, which is for one of the giraffes. I'm going to click on the circle that has the three dots in the center. Then choose the option Move to another mat. And I'll choose Mat 3. And then click on Confirm. Now we have both giraffes on the same mat. So if you want to have them both out of the same pattern, you can leave them here or put one in the corner and you can just choose different papers. I'll do the same for the bottom or the top lid. I'm going to click on that, click on the circle with the three dots, move to another mat. This one I'll pick mat two. I'm going to click on confirm and just move this over here. So now our mat total, now we have three mats. Mat one is for the bottom of the box, mat two is for the inside piece for the lid and also the lid, then mat three is for both drafts. I'm going to click on continue. We'll cut these out, go to the table, and put our box together. All right, guys, we are back and have all of our pieces cut out. We're first going to assemble the bottom box. I'm going to start by just finger pressing on the score marks. And I chose this box to be the same color for the top and the bottom. ones as well, the side flaps. I think I went off on that one. Nope, okay. I take the brown folder and give all that a crease. You guys noticed I got rid of my wood paper that I had on my mat before. And I got rid of that because when I had applied the contact paper to it, it was not flat and I had bubbles in it. And it was really annoying me when I was working on this mat. So I decided to take it off and change things up a little bit. Now I'm just doing the same for the top of the box, just finger pressing all the score marks. back in with our bone folder again to give all that a nice crease. I think this was the first project ever that we did in a Make It Now Monday project that we were not able to customize. It's just literally a Make It Now project. I thought it was kind of cute. Giraffes. We haven't made one. We haven't made a box in a while. All right, so now we have the bottom. What I'm going to do, you will see the two sides have these little flaps on them. I'm going to cut these flaps off. You don't need them to have the box be assembled. I find for me to just kind of get in the way. So I'm just cutting them off on an angle. And we're going to do the same for the top of the box in a minute. All right, the glue I'm using is Art Glitter Glue. I get this from MayMayMadeIt.com. It's a really good glue for assembling boxes. It's nice and strong and it dries pretty quickly. And you want to have the glue go all the way to the edge. Lining it up and then just finger pressing it to make sure that glue grabs. I'm also going to flip it over and go into my bone board or the other end to make sure that glue is really making contact with the paper. Do this side. Again, you want the glue to go all the way to the outer edge so there's no gap. 
and line the sides up. And this is, like I said, a three by three size box. So you can really fit anything in here, pretty much. And now we have this side. And there's a glue. I do get asked all the time about the metal tip on the top. That is sold separate as a fine tip, but I do recommend it. Okay, and let's put this side on. And this side. And then I'm gonna flip it over and just take my bone folder and rub against it. And now we have the top. Fold all these flaps out. I'm going to put glue on them. And these are going to fold down to get the top of our box more strength. And again, I will go with my bone folder and rub it down really well, making sure that glue makes contact with the paper. Too. So you can see, pretty simple box. And you guys know my schedule here on YouTube. We have the Monday, which is our Make and Monday projects, where we explore Cricut Design space to make something. Tuesday is Craft for Little Ones, which is our Toddler Tuesday. Every other Wednesday, I do my design team project for Mamie Made It. Friday is Pinterest inspired, and then Sunday is Sunnies with Stace, which is pretty much just random, um, random videos. All right, now on the on top of the box, I'm gonna remove the outer edges again, those outer flaps. The inner, the ones here, you do want to keep. But I was thinking, I may add in. Um, not all the time. We'll see how it goes. Um, Thursday videos. Let me go ahead and score or finger press those little flaps here. So the outer flaps you can cut off. The inner flaps you do need to assemble it. All right. Before I do that, though, let's go ahead and put our draft pieces on. And I'm just using um, Stampin' Up! paper. I'm going to put glue around the giraffe. Otherwise, I'll pop up. Just put a little bit of glue on the pieces here. Then we can lay this on this one here. If you don't want to use paper here, you can certainly use a vellum if you want to. the heart and for that I'm actually going to be using this Cricut pearl paper. Just cut a little piece off and I'm going to tape it down versus gluing it because it's just easier. Right now we have this piece here that's in a cover that mess we just made. So as I was saying on Thursdays I'm thinking about doing a throwback Thursday and what that would be so you guys leave me a comment below let me know if you think it's a good idea or not um, it'll be a throwback on a Monday video we did in the past one of our making up Monday projects like for example if, it was, if we created a scrapbook page we can make that scrapbook page turn into a card or turn a card into a scrapbook page you know or turn a box you know just redo something and make it be not what it's supposed to be you know, like I said, if we're going to do a card, rather than making a card, we might make a box or a bag. Something like that, or a tag. I thought that might, you know, might kind of be fun. Might kind of be fun. I don't think that makes sense, but... Here's just another idea I had. But like I said, leave me a comment below if you guys like that idea. Mm -hmm. 
And the Saturday, the Sunday videos, like I said, they're just pretty random. You know, I did a whole series on the kitchen remodel, which you guys, I think, enjoyed. I enjoyed. Um, and now the kitchen's done. And we don't plan on doing any kind of big remodeling anytime soon, other than our master bathroom. That'll be our next project. And we're doing that all completely on our own. We're not going to get any outside help for that. So hubby and I will be doing the flooring, the cabinets, everything. And I'll, I'll take you guys along with that as well. Okay, so the same thing as the bottom. Just fold the flaps in, take your bone folder and give it a good crease. Last two flaps here, and our box is done. You know, and the draft pieces that you cut out, you can certainly use them. You know, you can make a card. You're going to give this to a friend or somebody. You can save these drafts and make them make them a card, so your card would coordinate with your box. I think that'd be kind of fun. Our last flap here in our box is together. So I do like it being the same color, top and bottom. Like I said, it's a three by three size box, so it's a good size. You can fit a good amount of stuff in there. You can even make, um, because it's three by three, let me see if it's an exact three inches. It's actually three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So you can even make a set of three by three cards with envelopes and stick them in here. But there you have it, my friends, the finished box. Isn't that cute? I love the giraffes poking through that little bit of red. So there's the all pink one, and here's the yellow and gray one. All right, guys, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.